Hello fragrance fans and welcome to another video from Proverbs 27 9 fragrances. Today we're going to be looking at five cheap designer fragrances that smell like expensive either designer or niche fragrances. If you would go ahead and hit that subscribe button and make sure you are a part of um, our fragrance community. Also if you like this video hit the like and uh, please feel free to not only watch all the way to the end, but also leave a comment. Let me know if you have any other designers that didn't make this list that you feel are either niche quality or at least high-end designer quality. All right, first up on the list, and I didn't really rank these. These aren't just, these aren't ranked, you know, top five or anything like that. It's just five cheap designers that smell higher end or niche. So first one on the list is from Lalique. And this is Ancre Noir All Extreme. <clears throat> Lalique is a fragrance house that provides really exceptional quality uh, for, for their prices, you know. Um, fragrances like, you know, Pour On, which is the Lion Bottle, Equus, which I have up on the shelf, which is the horse bottle. And there's even another one on this list. La Lake is a really nice, high quality designer house. And um, this is one of their one of their best ones that really smells like a higher end uh, fragrance. And so what this one smelled, well, let me go ahead and give you some notes. On the top, it comes across, first of all, with this blast of citrus and cypress. You've got bergamot, and you've got the cypress accord. Or not accord, it's a cypress note. I don't know what they're using to, to do it, um, if it's synthetic or raw materials. Probably synthetics, but it's resinous. It's grassy. Um, it's got two different types of vetiver, Haitian vetiver, and just, just lists of vetiver. It's a little smoky. It has an incense note in the mid, but it's very resinous. It's got elemy resin. It's got benzoin resin. Um, there's sandalwood and patchouli in the base, which gives it this nice, classic, creamy um, patchouli, kind of chocolatey, almost dry down. There's a little bit of a boozy quality to it, just slightly, just kind of, um, I'm thinking that may be from the, the Elemy. The only thing I dislike about it is the Oris in the Ancre Noir. You know, Oris and Iris, the difference in them two is that when you're using the flower, the Iris, <clears throat> you, it's, it can come across kind of, they both come across a little waxy. Um, lipstick, Wax is what you get from Dior Homme, and I, I personally like it. When you use the Oris Root, it kind of comes across more dusty waxy, kind of like a candle that's been sitting on a shelf, kind of dusty. Um, but most people, that doesn't bother them. So um, this one, uh, it, what it smells like is it smells like Gucci Pour Homme, or it smells like a brand new niche fragrance, or high-end designer, whatever you want to call Tom Ford. Um, Tom Ford's Ebony Fume, I believe is the name of the fragrance. Ebony Fume. Uh, this is like a 2021 or at least brand new in their uh, in their premium line, you know, their, um, with the squared bottles. It's like a nearly a $300 fragrance. Gucci Pour Homme, you know, that one trying to buy it on the gray market because it's discontinued, you're going to pay two, $300 for it. So if you want to smell like those um, for a, a, a cheap price, this one right now, at the, at the, as I'm making this video, I don't know if those, the prices will hold up, but I'm just going to give you a, for instance, you can get this at Fragrance Shop, 3.3 ounces, which 100 ml, it's 25 bucks. So there you go. Um, La Ligue Ancre Noir All Extreme. I'm going to try not to take forever on this video. I'm not going to spend five minutes on each one. The next one is from the house of Davidoff. This is Zeno. It's a 19, 
86 release. And Zeno is a very classic, masculine, woody, spicy, um, aromatic fragrance. There's a lot of different things going on in it. It has a lot of notes. Um, to me, it's similar to very classy things like Guerlain Heritage, Eau de Parfum. Uh, but the one that this, the, the highest end, you know, um, what this reminds me of the most is Tom Ford's Beau de Jour, which come afterwards. And I believe I saw a video where Tom Ford's named um, some fragrances. And I think Zeno might have been one of the ones that he named as an inspiration for Beau de Jour. I know he mentioned Beaucheron Pour Homme and some fragrances like that, which I don't get that at all really from, from that. But Zeno here smells like a $200 fragrance. You know, depending on if you buy it in the their premium squared bottle for it's going for around 200, you can get this in their signature line. I think's what they call it, the round um, bottle with the fluted design on it. It's like 140 bucks, 130 bucks. But so you can pick this up, Fragrance X, uh, full presentation, 125 uh, ml for 21 bucks. Perfume Empire has a tester. For 19 bucks so smell like 200 bucks for a tenth of the price $20 fragrance that's Zeno by Davidoff all right next let's go to the house of Masani which is a designer house and they're not you know they don't have a lot of fragrances out most of them are that I've seen are just flankers of this one but the poor on eau de parfum <clears throat> if you like Chanel fragrances, um, this smells like it was made by Chanel. I've said that, I think, probably every time I've ever mentioned this fragrance. Um, but it smells like Bleu de Chanel, Eau de Parfum, when you spray it. And for the first few hours, you know, grapefruit, lemon, lavender, ginger, apple, jasmine, birch, oak, sandalwood, musk, patchouli are the notes in it. And when it finally dries down, it smells like Platinum Eagles. It's got that kind of oak and patchouli and sandalwood musky dry down. <clears throat> so it smells like really nice Chanel fragrances. And so you can pick this one up, Fragrance X 50 ml, which is, I think this is the 50 ml bottle, I believe. You can pick it up, uh, yeah, 50 ml for, um, looks like, uh, let's see, Masoni, 28 bucks. I know you can usually find this at um, Burlington or TJ Maxx or Marshalls, Ross. You can pick the 100 ml bottle up for about 35 bucks. So from the house of Masoni, that's a Masoni Pour Homme Eau de Parfum. All right, fourth one here on our list from one of my favorite houses, the house of Guerlain, and this is La Instant de Guerlain pour Homme, and this is the Eau de Toilette version. So, this um, particular iteration was a 2016 reformulation and release in the Eau de Toilette concentration, and the this is a real unique fragrance. It doesn't it doesn't really smell like anything else out there. It's very classy. Um, it, you know, it's a little citrusy on the top. It has a star anise note, which I believe is kind of maybe similar to licorice. I'm not sure. Um, it's very resinous. There's LME in it. I believe there's maybe even frankincense in it. It has tea listed, but I don't get a lot of that, and that's good because I don't like tea-based fragrances. There's some floral aspects, hibiscus, jasmine. But what you really get a nice dry down of is cacao, which is chocolate, cocoa, uh, patchouli, and sandalwood. So it's this really nice, smooth, creamy. Patchouli comes across chocolate in any ways, but it's got cacao. Um, you know, so it's it's not a gourmand, but it's it, it does kind of lean in that direction, maybe a hair. Um, 
it's really classy and this one this particular the eau de toilette um fragrance shop has 100 ml for like 33 bucks 50 ml for 25 but what it smells like is the original lidge last night the girl on um, i think O oh, extreme or extreme extreme or something like that and if you want the brown sided painted you know bottle you're talking 300 dollars plus this smells you know people that have oh, had the original for a long time they say this you know it's just a watered down version of it but i've had a sample of the uh, the brown side lidge and it's weaker but the fragrance is there it smells like it and for 25 bucks I mean, you can't beat that really classy doesn't smell like anything else out there you'll definitely smell different um cool weather cold weather evening out suit and tie um, if you want to you could dress it down but it's really nice from the house of again Guerlain and it's the Lidge Eau de Toilette the last one here we started with a Lalique fragrance we'll end with a Lalique fragrance this is a new one from them and it's white and black I think I always call it black and white because I see that bottle it's a black bottle but this is a flanker to Lalique White, um, which I don't have yet. I think I have it ordered, but I'm not sure. <clears throat> but I'm told it doesn't smell like Lalique White. Um, this is very, very sweet, thick, syrupy, spicy. A um, little blue. And what it smells like is Parfums de Mali Leighton. Uh, and it smells a lot like it. I don't know that I would call it a clone of it. I don't think it's a, you know, trying to be a one-to-one -one clone, but it is definitely not trying to hide the fact that it smells, you know, probably 80% like Leighton. There's a little bit of a greenness in the dry down um, which kind of smells a little bit like Herod by Parfums de Mali as well. So almost like a little bit of a mixture of both of those. You've got Sicilian bergamot and grapefruit in the top with olibanum, which is resin. Um, I think olibanum is another term for fragrance scents, I believe. Um, it's got cardamom and lavender. There's a beautiful lavender. It's lavender extract. And it's very aromatic. There's a great lavender note in this fragrance. It's probably one of the reasons why I like it so much. Lavender is one of my favorite um, fragrances. I, honestly, I can just wear straight lavender oil. I, I like to diffuse lavender in my office. There's pink pepper, um, another resin elemy. There's vanilla, and there's a lot of vanilla in this. So it's got a, it opens up kind of bright with the, the you know when you first spray this in fact this will probably be my scent today i'll go ahead and spray it you get this big blast of the you know the uh citruses like you do in most citrus top fragrances but immediately you smell that cardamom there's this and that pink pepper there's this spicy nuance to it the lavender starts coming through but it's not too and <clears throat> it's not too long that those resins, that beautiful vanilla, start to come in as well. This one doesn't transition a lot. You know, you lose the top notes and you basically just kind of get in the dry down. So there's a little bit of a transition, but it smells great all day long. Performs well. Parfums of Molly Layton. You know, at best you're going to pay $150 for it at like Aura Fragrance. You know, it's typically a $250, $300 fragrance. You can get this, <clears throat> excuse me, you can get this right now, or at least at the time that I was making the video, at Donatella Perfumes, 4.2 ounces for 125 ml. Um, 40 bucks, 40 bucks. Donatella is a great place to go and get <clears throat> hard to find fragrances because when they get them, they don't um, price gouge, you know. I bought Guerlain's um, 
low medial extreme, which is very hard to find. The 50 ml bottle is usually going to sell for around a hundred bucks. They got it in, they put it on the website for 40 bucks for the 50 and it was like 65 for the hundred. And I wish I, in retrospect, I wish I'd have bought the hundred ml cause that's a great fragrance. Anyways, um, I don't know if gift express was listed as one of the folks there, but you can, if you do go to gift express, you can find a lot of these fragrances there. You put in a, a, a coupon code proverbs 10. Um, so that means, you know, Proverbs 27.9 is our channel. And then the 10 is for uh, the 10% off. You can get a 10% off code there. I don't get any money for that, but I think it would be cool if when you go there, you use that discount code so that they know that um, folks are watching the channel and that, <clears throat> you know, maybe one of these days they would want to do a sponsored video or something. Anyways, those are, um, again, five cheap designer fragrances that smell like expensive designer or niche fragrances. Let me know what you think about not only this list, but if you've got other fragrances that you think um, fit this category or other ones you would like, maybe I can do a second uh, video on this later on down the road. Just leave me comments on that. All right, till we see you down the road, we say God bless. Frag on, Frag fam.